In this video, I will show you how to use potentially one of the best entry-level lights for studio photographers. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or just off-camera lighting or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. And also don't forget, there's an ongoing giveaway of three NAND light lights. And to, to enter this giveaway is very, very simple. All you have to do is follow the instructions that I will put in the description below. So what is this light that I am talking about? Well, again, it's from Nanlite. It is one of their newest lights, which will be released today when I upload this video, September 21, 2022. Okay, that light is this. Their studio light, but this time it is an FS60B. In other words, this is their cheapest, their smallest bicolor studio light that they have produced so far. Why do I call this a studio light? Well, basically the FS series for me personally was really built for photographers because inherently they give softer light than their four sub brother. However, this particular light, the FS series, is only built for one type of power source, which is an AC outlet. That's why it's really meant for indoor work. Unless, of course, you have those portable generators that you want to bring. But I think this one will find its place here in the studio. So what is this FS60B? In other words, as I said earlier, it is their smallest light. It is also bicolored. Let me just show you, it's fantastic actually. So what's inside the box is, of course, the mini Bowens, the full Bowens mount. They've got a new reflector, tiny, tiny reflector. Look at this. Maybe I'll actually do a shoot later using this one. And this is the light itself. Oh, but before I show you the light itself, let me show you the power source. Basically just this, a cord. It's a cord that you plug to your AC outlet. There is no power brick. Everything is built in the light, which is tiny. Literally tiny. Let me put this down first here. Here it is. The brand new Nanlite FS60B. This is the newest light from Nanlite. And look how small it is. It's about, give or take, about 8 inches. And it's very light. And it is bicolor. So even with this standard reflector, let me take this one out. This is actually what makes this thing um, good for studio photographers. is because the cob light is bigger than that of the Forza series. So bigger means better means softer light. Well, not necessarily better, but bigger means softer light. So out of the box without any modifier this one will give you softer light so with now just your standard reflector that's it it's so simple i think i'm going to use this now in an umbrella only for the shoot that's going to follow well after i talk about this but basically that's it this is the new fs60b it's got as i said earlier just a very simple power source all you have to do is plug it into an ac outlet the power brick is built in inside this already, so I don't know how they were able to make it fit in this particularly small package. And as with all nan light lights, they're really well built. Fantastic. So, you know what? I guess it's better for me to actually just show you guys what this thing can do. Okay, so come on. All right, so we're all set up here. So as you guys can see, I have my nan light FS60 right here. And I have a backdrop here, but to be honest, this backdrop is insignificant because we're going to try to remove it. So today I'm going to show you how we're going to use this light just with the standard reflector and show you how beautiful and flexible this one FS60, it's just a 60 watt light that's plugged via an AC outlet now. And we're just going to use it at 5600 Kelvin, though this is by color. Okay, so now let's talk about the camera that I'm going to use. So the camera that I'm going to use is my Sony A7 Mark IV with a 24 to 70 2.8 GM Master II. Now I'm using a 24 to 70 so it gives me a bit of flexibility to zoom in and out on how I want my composition to be. And of course, everything that you are seeing now is recorded live using this one, my Atomos Ninja V, which is 
uh, connected to my camera via HDMI. So every single image that you will see is straight out of the camera. And if you want to see the final images, stick around till the end of the video. So I think it's time for me to call in my wife, Coco, who will be my subject for today. Come on in, babe. So while Coco's coming in, basically I already set my camera to 1 over 250 f 2.8 ISO 100. Hi, babe. So you can't really see anything anymore. You can't see Coco in the screen. That's because I set my camera to remove all existing ambient light. So all the light that you will be seeing will be coming from this FS60. All right. The only thing that I actually set that's very important here. Well, another thing that I set was my white balance, which is at 5600 Kelvin, because this light we will set at 5600 Kelvin. OK, so let's turn this one on. There we go. Right now it's at full power. And babe, could you turn around? We're gonna shoot some dramatic portraits. Could you move slightly to your right? All right, and then look towards me. Twist your body a bit. How about fixing that sleeve here? Let me. Here you go, there. Put it on. Standard reflectors, beautiful, very precise. It's, I love it, I really love it. Now, you notice that you're, we're not getting any light in the back or the background is not being seen. That's because the light is directed towards this direction, so we don't have any spill. That's because of the focus of the reflector. Okay? All right, babe, chin down, please. Very nice. Beautiful. One more. Very nice. Breathe through your mouth, please. Oops. All right. One more. Now, there is something missing. I love it already as is, but I feel that this side is too much in shadow. So, let's have my every dependable foam board and put it here. So you guys might not be able to see Coco anymore, but you get the picture of how she's posed now. And now we just brought back some of the beautiful back of Coco. Do you mind stepping towards this side, babe? Oh, which side? Here, towards my right, your, your right too, okay? Then now profile again, same. There, beautiful. Let me just adjust the light a little bit so that it's hitting more of your forehead. There. That's a beautiful thing about ambient light. Oh, sorry, with continuous light, you could see exactly where the light is hitting. Then maybe I'll make it a bit darker. There. Perfect. I love it. One over 400. Chin down, please. Tilt your head away from me. Beautiful. 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 How about closing your eyes? I love it. Very nice. Actually, the light, we're opening up the shadows too much, so I will just bring this out a little bit so that we just get a hint of light on your back. There, beautiful. There we go. I still do love having my shadows there, even if I open it up a little bit, just so that I can get a lot of shape there. Underexposing it a little bit more. 1 over 400, so perfect. Love that, babe. I love it. Build this one up a bit. Beautiful. Chin towards me a bit more. There. Beautiful. Love that. Maybe look towards there. Your eyes there. Perfect. Hint. Open your mouth just a little bit. There. Breathe through your mouth. Softer fingers, please. There we go. And beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful light. See, and that's just one thing. Thank you very much, babe. You look fantastic, of course. And that's just one thing that we can do with this Nanlite FS60. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, guess how much this light is. It is only 179 US dollars for this light. It's a bicord light. It's 60 watts, just AC outlet gives beautiful color temperature. I just really do love this light and I feel that it is the perfect entry level light for studio photographers, for guys who want to just get into portrait photography and don't want to spend too much and yet still get good quality. This is the light to go. All right. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget, I'm giving away some Nanlite 
the link the mechanics are in the description below okay till the next video